Last year, we did a big project with State of Survival in the state of Hawaii. Now this time, we're taking things to the next level. They actually brought us on board to do part two and part three, and we made a zombie killing mobile, or whatever you want to call it, the killing machine. We've got this minivan, it's lifted. I've had it for years, I've loved it, and I think that this was the right way to send it on its way in life, killing zombies. So much thought, passion went into making this project happen for you guys. And we haven't even shot the video yet. Like this is just a pre-production work that happens to make the magic happen. But just having this, this is gonna be a big part of our next part two and part three videos that we're shooting back to back in a couple weeks for State of Survival. So today we're gonna cut a hole right up here on top where all the tools are. We're going to put a submarine hatch that has a lid that opens backwards. Uh, that someone can pop up out of and pull the machine gun. Put a hole there where we can then mount our submarine hatch. You can pop up out of the hatch, it'll open this way, and put hinges right here. We don't want the zombies to come in through the submarine hatch, so we're gonna have some barbed wire on little posts that stick out across here. There we go. They'll be on a, on a rod, so then you'll have uh, three brazier blades to chew up zombie shins. Will this car be street legal once you're done? No. <laughs> That's <fair>. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right. Cool. There's this shop down the road in a, the neighboring city. Uh, they're a CNC laser cutting facility. And so I jumped on the computer and created some CAD files, took out the measurements, drew the holes, and, and drew up this gun. The machine gun we're making is a M2 Browning 50 cal machine gun. I, I've only halfway thought through all this. It's a very half-baked idea, so some of it we're figuring out as we go. little slot here is where the bullets will feed in. Now it's time for the barrel. Right now what we're doing is prepping this van to eventually patina it. We want to make it look like it's been sitting outside in an apocalypse for years, so to say. This is all Zach. It was a beautiful, beautiful white van. And now it's this glorified zombie killing death machine. So if you see it on the road, you know that Zach was the artist that made the, the color paint job come to life. So welding a bar here that comes and goes across and then bars that go from the bar that'll be right here up to the bar on the rack. We've got these plates, they're riveted on. We put those on the other night. But we've got to come and weld onto those and have bars that come across the windows. This is just vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and salt, and it speeds up the rust process. So this could be a bench on the inside also have this military bag that I got from the same guy. Authentic stuff. We could use these sort of things. It could double as a, a missile holder and a bumper at the same time. Welcome to my crib. You gotta watch out for the all the tetanus shots that you're gonna need afterwards. Stay tuned 
you next month when we release our big State of Survival Part 2 video to our YouTube channel, Devin Supertramp. Just in case you've been living under a rock for these last couple of years, State of Survival is a doomsday survival game where you can fight zombies, develop your own base, recruit heroes, and form alliances with other players. Make sure to download State of Survival, the mobile app game, down below in the video description. Over and out.